right, we're going to talk about how to draw the proportions of a face. And I'm actually going to be doing a self-portrait. I have a mirror that's facing this way. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this template in the middle of our paper. And it's an oval. And I'm going to trace very lightly around it. And I call this a whisper line because it's going to be a guideline that I might erase parts of it later. All right. So I'm also going to draw a line of symmetry here. And I'm going to draw a line through the middle. So our eyes are going to line up on the middle line here. Seems like that's a funny place to put them, but we have all this room for our brain and our hair up here. So next, we're going to draw a line that's halfway between the eye line and the chin. And that's going to be where we place our nose later on. And then halfway between the nose and the chin is going to be where we put the mouth. Now eyes are all different. You have some eyes are like this, kind of arch and then swoop down at the bottom. Some eyes are higher on the top than others, on one side than the others. Some of them are really curved at the top, flat on the bottom. You need to look in the mirror and see what your eyes actually look like. Generally, they're going to be like footballs. All right, now our nose is made of three parts. We've got the um, center of your nose and your nostrils, and it's all part of one big thing here, but we can easily represent it with three letter U's. And some people have a wide part in the middle of their nose and small nostrils, and some people have wide nostrils and it's small in the middle you got to look and see what your nose actually looks like. Okay, and you can add some eyebrows in there too. They're all connected to the nose. And then your mouth. You can draw the teeth in there or you can just have it open. And then for the hair or the ears, they're going to line up with your eyes. I just make a letter C. And your hair. If you're a boy, it's going to come, it's short like mine, it's going to come down a little bit. You're still going to see the top of the hair there. And some of it's going to come out on the top. So these guidelines we can erase. I'm going to add the neck. And then I'm going to curve and make the collar. And the shoulders will come out like this. And there's a basic sketch. 